Alright, so up here we are going to be facing the technical boss of this place. He's a necromancer, but he uses a lot of destruction magic, so just stay away from him and we should be good for this fight. There he is. As you can tell, he can hear a lot better than the skeletons that we faced. Dead. Ooh, steel dagger. He's also got this clothing if you would like to pick that up. Cumbrid again. Let's go with that. Yeah, no. Okay, so we can, uh, grace ourselves here with a little bit of loot. It's not the best loot in the world, but it is something. Over here we got two more lock picks, a lotus, another alchemy, and I'm over in keyword again. Hmm. Well, we better do some more alchemy to get rid of a few more materials. Bone meal and red meat seem to go together well. Now that was an actual good potion we crafted, because if we poison our bow that time, it's going to reduce health by a certain amount. Over here you could read this, this is about this necromancer we killed over there, resurrecting someone. Got two more gold coins and one just fell right here. Fine iron longsword. We're gonna take that just because we would want a nice blade. More bone meals. And we are almost done with Vilverin. Speaking of, I think there's a little place to rest. Yes, there is. We're gonna do this to get our third level up. You realize that you are catching on to the secret of success. It's just a matter of concentration. We're going to go with agility, speed, and intelligence again. Once again, raising that speed is going to be very, very important because you're going to see a significant movement boost. Now you could easily go through this without having to lockpick if you picked up that key that was on the alien chest. There we go. Now we just gotta get ourselves out of Ilfrin. where we shot the Dark Elf, and we are going to go out of Hilverin right now. This is the first dungeon of Oblivion that we've done. So far, so good.
Okay, now that we are out of Vilverin, we are going to be going to the Imperial City right now to sell some of the loot that we got. And one of the things that's completely different from uh, the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind in the previous installments is instead of actually, you know, having to walk there, you can actually now travel. So right now, in-game time is 3.50 a.m., meaning that by the time we get there, it's hardly going to be 8 a.m. So the stores are going to start opening up. Time is it? 651, so we are close. One of the things you're going to notice a lot in Oblivion is you might have to do a bit of waiting. And the only reason why you're going to have to be doing so much waiting in the first place is because of the fact that you are going to have to wait for all these stores to open. So we got the best defense, the gilded Harav, Slash and Smash, Mystic Emporium. Right now we're going to be going to the best defense so we can get our armor up. The best defense. That's me, Morrow Rufus. Light armor. The very best. Okay, so we're gonna trade Only quality them. goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Let's see, do we have any armor we can sell him? Not the moment. Now That's we're a fair sell, deal. Now we're gonna sell that alien statue, and the only reason why we're selling that is because... Well, we want to get that quest at the moment. So, it's going to take a while, but if you're in the Imperial City and some random guy starts talking to you, then you're most likely that's going to be the side quest. We'll get later on to that in Let's Play, but right now we're going to keep selling stuff, so... Yeah. I'm going to sell our bow. I'm going to sell one of these. Don't need a dagger. We're going to sell our weapons somewhere else. pleasure to serve you. Take care. This guy sells heavy armor, but we're not into that, so... Carry on. The slash and smash. Herbal Grow Oracle knows you need axes and blunt weapons. Big ones, so he makes them and sells them here. Slash and smash, the big orc weapon shop. Big weapons for big heroes. Armor, weapons, I have it all. How may I help you? Good price. Thank you for your enough. What? Have a look around. You won't find better price. A pleasure to serve you. Stop talking! What is it, citizen? I'm listening. So Please, right here we go got ahead. the other stores, so like the general places. The feed bag's good for uh, common foods, jewelry, self-explanatory. 
I believe we did pick up some rings and amulets, so let's go here to sell them. They're not going to sell for the best price, but still. What? Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? You drop. That's a fair. You got a great deal there. Another satisfied customer. Farewell. Later on into the day, like maybe early 12 a.m., 1 a.m., maybe a little earlier than that, you can go into these places and you need something. steal the food. And if you're going to be an alchemist, one of the most essential things that you're going to want to do is indeed steal food. Like right now, as you can tell, this sky can't see me, but... So we're going to steal this watermelon and all the other stuff on this counter. We stole a plate by accident, but okay. Having a good stealth still skill is uh, essential for this, a good sneak skill. We can also attempt to steal these apples. You're gonna have to watch out because when the symbol is gold like that, that means that the merchant can see you. So, you're going to want to have to be very, very, very careful. Because if he catches you, he's going to call in the Imperial Guard. And the Imperial Guard doesn't give two craps. Hello. What? What you do. So we're going to take a bed for the night. I do have a bed of it.